Pointing towards the face. Okay. Very good. It worked out. Debris. Some boxes were dropped. Hey, good morning, Ed. Thanks for tuning in to uh, WBCA, your radio station for all the backcountry hits. Uh, this morning, your avalanche rated on the north coast is considerable in the alpine, considerable in tree line, water below tree line. Your problems for today, storm slabs, all elevations, pretty widespread, eh? All aspects, likely and very likely. Sizes one to three. Persistent weak layer, tree line, and alpine. It's an isolated surface over layer, buried on northern aspects, down 40 to 80 centimeters. Play safe out there, and make sure to do some conservative terrain selection and gather lots of information before stepping out into anything there, bud. These hosers are on a mission to find some classic BC pillows. We've got the entire quiver of gear, eh? Big trucks, salt sleds, and some not-so-light touring gear. The plan is to access some skiable terrain with the sleds and tour from there. If the conditions are about right, then we'll give her. First, we'll hit some mellow areas to warm up and see if we see any signs of activity. With 20 centimeters of new snow, be concerned about storm slabs, especially above tree line. And be on the lookout for that surface or layer we heard about in the Avalanche Canada Bulletin. So you best stay off steep north facing aspects for now. Be sure to reevaluate at the bottom of every run to see if the observations are still consistent. We'll dig a few test pits, do some hand shears, and even a few ski cuts to see if we can get that storm slab or that surface war layer to take off. Sure enough, we're seeing some pretty clean shears on that surface war layer, but only in isolated north facing pockets. But east and west facing aspects are feeling pretty good, and the storm snow seems to have settled a bit, so it's time to tee off on some fat pillows and nice cliffs. Taking off to send pillows, the priority is always to return, with no epic stories to tell. The key to that is to monitor the avalanche bulletin every day and choose the right terrain for the conditions. Today you boys laid some nice lines, but only after doing your homework. To make sure we weren't gonna get anything moving. Worked out pretty good, eh? 